days are never ending When the nights are feeling lonely There's a place that I can go Where the birds are free to roam In the sky, flying high Over fields of green And where the stars inside the sky Where the last one shining bright Pushing through the storm and night We'll be burning on and on Shining bright, pushing through the storm and night. We'll be burning on and on and on. Hello, Leo. This is Inspire 2016 with your weekly tarot reading for the week, commencing the 4th of December until the 10th of December 2017. The first card for you is representing. How do you feel about yourself? Your card is. The Two of Cups. There is a beautiful start to a new romance in which you experienced understanding, harmony and deep love between two souls. The seed has blossomed into a tree of appreciation. Kindness and thoughtfulness will bind your two hearts together with the feeling of being simultaneously very special to one another. This card can also refer to marriage, proposals and engagements, particularly as this card portrays what looks like a wedding or hand fasting. It is a reflection of commitment between two individuals, to say that they will go through life together, always considerate of each other's needs and wishes. This card typically points towards a relationship that is based on mutual attraction and romantic inclinations. It reflects the clear, nurturing, supportive and heartfelt exchange of emotions that is the gift of a romantic relationship. The Two of Cups represents love that is nurturing, creative, clearly focused, inspirational and equally fulfilling. Outside of love, the Two of Cups reflects a partnership of sorts, be it a business partnership, friendship or even a relationship between a person and their pet. On first glance, the Two of Cups shares a similar message to the lovers. However, the energy of the Two of Cups is slightly weaker than the lovers card. Whereas the lovers is the reunion of two complete beings, the Two of Cups is a less mature union that, stable as it may seem, does have the potential to come undone over a longer period of time. So. While the union is strong now, it is not clear whether the relationship shown by the Two of Cups can stand the test of time. Only the two people involved can decide that. Despite the focus on the two beings shown on this card, the Two of Cups also points to what is happening within the individual. To be truly loved, deeply treasured and valued highly by others, you must first and foremost strive to create those feelings for yourself. That is, when you work toward loving yourself, you hold your inner spirit in high regard, treating it with deference and deep respect. When you see yourself in this positive light, other people cannot help but respond to your personal sense of value in an equally positive manner. The second card for you is representing, what do you want most right now? Your card is, the seven of pentacles. What do you want most right now is investing your time and energy for the maximum output. You do not want to keep putting your heart and soul into something if you are not getting the rewards for it, and no doubt, you have started to see that there are some areas in your life that are just become energy sappers but without the reward. If you have been working extra hard or putting in extra effort into something, it will finally pay off. Your effort will definitely be worth it and you will see the results and rewards for your labor. You may have been working on something quite challenging and important for the last few months, and this is likely to come to a culmination. You are likely to see financial or other tangible rewards for all of your hard work. You might have been laboring away at something important and you may be starting to feel concerned that you will never be rewarded for your efforts. 
be patient and appreciate the progress you have made so far. If your hard work has not yet paid off as planned, remember that your expectations may be unreasonable. There are no guarantees. Be grateful, focus on the present and do what you can with what you have. This card follows the Six of Pentacles which indicated the ending of a difficult period of financial or material difficulty. In the Seven of Pentacles, you are now experiencing the rewards of hard work and effort. However, the question at hand is whether the rewards of hard work are in fact worth the effort to acquire them. It is often at the time of greatest success that you realize what you desired so much is in fact somewhat disappointing and perhaps not worth all of the effort. The Seven of Pentacles may therefore represent fear of failure, delays and frustration. However, the positive side to it is that you are more likely to be learning from these setbacks and evaluating how you can better invest your time to create the most value. In order to avoid feelings of frustration, ensure that you review your progress to date at regular intervals, particularly when engaged in long-term or enduring work, so that you can review what is working well and what is not and where you can make adjustments. Make sure that you are on course and that you are on track to achieve your goals. The third card for you is representing your fears. Your card is the Queen of Pentacles. You are afraid and feeling worried about whether you can be financially independent, while also still maintaining your family connections. You may be concerned that if you invest in your career or financial well-being, you might not have enough energy to invest in your family. Sometimes, you just cannot do everything and you will need to make some choices. You are also becoming very consumed in your work. You may be placing your career before your family or your relationships, and this is having a detrimental impact. Of course, this may be okay on a temporary basis but you need to assess its long-term impact. To rebalance your life, you may find a release by returning to a favorite nature spots and allowing yourself to take in this fresh, natural energy. You may also find that you become a bit of a homebody and somewhat isolated from others. If so, you need to fight this urge and keep in touch with your friends and family as they will be a great help and support to you. At times, the Queen of Pentacles may suggest that your tendency to mother those you care about is actually becoming more like smothering. Your intentions are good in that you love to cook, clean, nurture and care for those around you but there may be a point at which you need to let others be accountable for their own upkeep. You cannot always be the one doing the laundry or cooking the dinner. Sometimes you need to step back and let others take on the load. Similarly, you may reach a point where you are investing so much time looking after others that you find you are neglecting yourself. Again, step back and let others take on some of the household responsibilities. The fourth card for you is representing, what is going for you? Your card is, the king of wands. There would be a male significant figure in your life, most likely from fire signs, who is goal oriented and full of creativity. He is a natural born leader of all kinds of people, and he is very visionary. Once he sets himself a goal, he sticks to it and ensures that he can make it happen with the support of those around him. People naturally gravitate towards this king as they know he will get things done and will do it very well. He is a master, too, at being able to get other people to do his work for him, and keep them on side throughout the process. He looks forward to challenges because he enjoys the natural rush of adrenaline associated with solving a difficult problem and coming to a solution that will benefit not just one person but many people. In the process, he not only rids himself of his own fear but that of others, by reassuring them that they shall all succeed. He is not all talk, either, and when the going gets tough, he is prepared to do the hard yards to see something through to the end. 
the King of Wands has a deep and innate respect for other people, and his compassion extends far. He knows how to bring out the best in others and to empower them to deliver his visions and goals, which he knows will be of benefit to the greater population. If this king represents yourself, you are someone who is very visionary and goal-oriented. You achieve a lot because you are very clear about your future direction and how you will get there. You do not waste your time on activities or relationships that you believe will lead nowhere. You never just go with the flow, instead you prefer to embark on a strong and direct course of action. The King of Wands reminds you to lead your life with intent, vision and a long-term view. Know that even though you are experiencing challenges now this is just a part of your journey to something much more positive. Eventually, you will see this time as just a little blip on the radar and it will have simply served to make you stronger. Stay focused on your long-term goals. The appearance of the King of Wands also suggests that an opportunity is presenting itself to you, and you now have the power to accept the opportunity and take on the challenge. You are the determining factor in this situation, and circumstances will navigate in the direction you steer them. Indecision or doubt will not be appropriate responses when clarity and confidence are acquired. However, as you progress in this new role, it will begin to feel more comfortable. The fifth card for you is representing. What is going against you? Your card is. The Five of Cups. You are afraid that a situation has not turned out as you had hoped. However, you are beginning to realize the full implications of the past and you have come to appreciate the lessons learned from the experience. You may even recognize the value of the painful experience in the broader scheme of things in preparing you for later experiences. You are ready to pick up the remaining two cups that are full of the water of emotional growth and go on. This card is also about learning to be open and to take risks again. It is a card of a lingering sense of regret, nostalgia and bittersweet memories but the card itself speaks of being hopeful for the future, getting over whatever you need to get over, and of seeing the sun peek through the clouds once again. If you have suffered a broken romance, the Five of Cups signifies an end to the suffering, and a beginning to new loves and relationships, new interests and new emotional outlets, you are starting to engage with the inspiring, creative and feeling side of life again. The Five of Cups is about values and knowing what you truly want and what will really make you happiest. It is about the hidden blessings that lie behind obvious disappointments. Sometimes disappointments are required to see through illusions and free you to find what is truly of value in life. Once you have made this transition, you will be free to embrace new opportunities. Sometimes, the Five of Cups indicates a feeling of being trapped in the past, holding on too tightly to the might-have-beens, and not being able to focus on the positive. The reversal could also indicate buried feelings of regret, that you are not allowing to surface and therefore they never get dealt with and brought to closure. 5 is also the number of change, and indicates an emotional destabilization that is intended to create change in how you approach your life. The last card for you is representing, the likely outcome that you may have. Your card is, the 5 of swords. You are engaging in conflict or finding yourself disagreeing with others, leading to tension and hostility. Despite thinking you have won, you may still end up the loser because you have hurt or annoyed others and have subsequently isolated yourself. You try to pick up the pieces and act as if the conflict is now in the past but others have now lost faith in you and do not want to be around you. This might be one of those times when it feels like everyone is against you and you may lose some friends along the way. 
you will need to make a decision about whether your point of view is so important to you that it is okay to put your relationship with others in jeopardy, or whether you can compromise and try to see eye to eye with others. If you have been aggressive in your struggles, then you will soon accomplish your objectives. However, if you have been passive, you may need to compromise on your personal interests, giving in to the wishes of the opposing force. You will feel that there are more obstacles ahead, and you will not want to face the ordeal you know you must if you are to have what you want or the way you want it. Overall, you are in for a struggle and there is more work or problems ahead than you are aware of now. Things will not go as well as they should, and you will have conflicts or clashes of will with others. Thus, the Five of Swords is a card representing ambition but in the negative sense. Too much ambition without regard to the consequences to yourself or others results ultimately in a situation of loss for everyone. You may be represented either by the callous winner or the dejected losers. In any case, there is a negative connotation. If your focus is solely on winning your goals at any cost, you will eventually discover to your own dismay that the price of winning may not have been worth the reward. Arrogance and pride often go hand in hand with a difficult triumph such as this, and you must be careful not to think you are invincible. You have overcome a challenge, and you have the right to feel proud but know that there will be other rivals to face and that some of them will eventually defeat you. Boasting to others that you are invincible is an invitation for someone to prove you wrong. If your victory was won through cheating or unethical conduct, beware of an attempt at vengeance. The Five of Swords can relate to a betrayal or sneak attack by someone you trust and do not suspect as your enemy. There may be an unfaithful partner or a jealous person in your life who is sabotaging you behind your back. Look to other court cards in the reading to understand who may be working against you. You must be very careful whom you trust at this point in time because you are vulnerable to attack and gossip. The advice of the Five of Swords is to pick your battles. You may be tempted to fight every conflict to ensure you get your way, to prove that you are right, or to defend yourself when you are feeling challenged or threatened by another person. However, most experts agree, Choosing your battles wisely is a much better way of life than battling out every disagreement. Not only will picking your battles lead to a more peaceful existence, it is also more likely to strengthen your interpersonal relationships. Last but not least, the guidance card for you is the Orange Dragon. When you pick this card, your guidance is to see the divine light in everyone. Look for the bonds that link you. The orange dragons will help you to spread their light of warmth, welcome and acceptance to all peoples, races and cultures. Let that light shine through you. You will feel a sense of belonging and oneness and your heart will open. This will help you to develop your abilities of higher manifestation. When you visualize the peoples and animals of the world coming together in harmony and acceptance, Orange dragons will flood your vision with their light. Archangel Metatron himself will then take it to energize the plan for Earth. So hold the highest vision for the golden age that is being prepared and do your part to bring your community and the world into spiritual accord. This is a message of higher peace. I hope that you enjoy everything and if you like the reading just please click subscribe and you will get uh, instant notifications every time we publish a new video right to your uh, YouTube. Thanks.